Good morning. Here we are back for season eight, right where you left us. Oh, Lindy's putting some sunscreen on here at our Royal Court Apartments in Grenada. It's a few months later and we just flew in last night and got a, a, a good night of sleep after traveling for two days and it's time to go to the boat and see how it did. Hopefully it's all in good shape. There she is. Getting some bottom work ready already. Had a guy out here sanding in the bottom. Oh, no ladder just yet. We'll need to get a ladder so we can climb aboard. Got the ladder. Let's check down below. Looks good uh, up here so far. Mm -hmm. No strange smells, that's always good. I don't know, it looks a lot like how we left it. All right. Yeah. The dehumidifier long since ran out of juice. That one too. It's not like a lot of mold on the ceiling. I thought there, I mean, I think there'd be a lot, but I thought there'd be some. I mean, it looks better than when we live on it for four months and I don't clean it. Yeah, it's amazing. Like anytime we've left the boat, knock on wood, we've never had any mold problems and the boat just sort of, you know, looks Stays. like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my uh, guitar has some sort of, you put it under uh, I put vent. it underneath the vent to keep it, uh, you know, airflow. But so that's how much dust comes in the vent from a boat yard. Over months and months. So, Over four months. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, we're going to start moving stuff around and uh, figuring out what project to tackle first. Okay, the canvas guys showed up just as we were getting on the boat in our new Isinglass. Oh man, it's so clear. For like two years, I just haven't really been able to see out of the front of the boat well. Which that's kind of bad when, it's sa when we're sailing. And uh, they also made new side curtains that look really good here and what i've just done now started the refrigerator here's our compressor right down here and it's humming away everything's looking good and while i'm doing that i'm monitoring the batteries here and they're doing what they're supposed to do except for the starting battery I disconnected the starting battery from the system while we were gone. So it looks like it's completely dead. So I'm gonna have to hook it back up and see, maybe time to change it. We just don't know yet. Lindy, starting to clean down here, get things uh, organized. So dusty. <laughs> Dirty and dusty. Yep. Going good though, so far. Let's give us water, see how that works. Listen for it. Okay, let's see. All right. 
probably wouldn't want to drink that, but water's working. <laughs> okay, if you remember at the end of last season, uh, we were taking the shaft seal off and the, the new one has arrived. Things are happening fast here in Grenada. So there's the piece and the parts to replace it. I've already been cleaning up the shaft coupling and the uh, breakaway coupling piece there. So I just need to read the directions because this is very important. It keeps us from sinking and uh, get it all on there in the right order. And then the one hard thing will be putting the coupling back on to the shaft. You remember it was hard to get off. Hopefully it's a lot easier to put back on. Then uh, that'll be the biggest hurdle to us getting back in the water out of the way. So you can see the shaft, I've got it all shiny and all the parts off of it. And here is the new bellows. There's the old one there that I cut off. So that's gonna slide over the shaft tube and go on the log. All right, let's do it. Okay, I've got the carbon rotor on there now. That's this piece. And it goes inside the bellows and the bellows and the uh, hose clamps tighten down on it. And then this piece here mounts over the shaft and it makes a mated connection with the carbon piece there. And then this bellows, which is able to move and keep pressure against it, and that's what keeps water from coming in. So it's really important and I need to make sure I do it right. So that's what I'm working on. There you can see it. And now here is the coupling that goes onto the transmission. And it's gotta come onto the shaft right there. And that was the piece that was so hard to get off. So hopefully I can just slide it right on. And then the rest of the job won't take very long, but we're about to find out. So far, I've just been slowly tapping. It does not go on there easily. As you can see, there it is there. And all the room I've got to hammer on it is with this adjustable wrench like this. And it's going millimeters at a time. And I've got to make it go like pretty much that whole distance right there. So I'm gonna try it this way first. <laughs> it took some serious persuading with a bigger hammer and Lindy's help monitoring the situation. But we have the coupling on. All right. There it is. Things are looking good. Hey Lindy, will you hand me the soft coupling? Yeah. And then you can hand me those that wood too. So now we need to put the soft coupling in between the coupling and the transmission. Things are going very good. I wasn't sure if what we're doing today, if I could even get it done or if it might take us days. So very happy with this so far. All right, onward. The flexible coupling. There we go. Now we just take some measurements on how tight to have that baffle squished. Then we put the set screws in on it. And that's a wrap. All right. It is all done. I spent a long time just like finicky in with it, making sure it was exactly centered and everything. And there you have it. I even put a uh, donut zinc in front of the stainless steel rotor thing there so uh just as an extra precaution against things sliding and uh water being able to come in so whoo <sighs> all done i think that may be it for today we've got uh four or five more days until the boat goes in the water so we'll start on a few more projects now all right we got the new bottom paint going on <laughs> Oh yeah. Nice.
that's the end of day two working on the boat uh we <laughs> we took the shopping bus this morning so we got some food and lindy and i did some plumbing work on the boat i recalibrated the autopilot yeah the uh boat looks really good though way better than it did they'll put another coat on that i think uh on monday and then uh paint the centerboard on tuesday and then we're going in the water on wednesday all right very nice we're on our fourth day of uh getting the boat ready to go in the water yesterday was the third day we had a good productive day i went on another shopping bus and found a starting battery because it looked like a starting battery was starting to go bad <laughs> I got a few other little pieces at the uh, chandlery, and while I was doing that, what'd you do, Lindy? Um, I cleaned the boat, uh, a lot of uh, spaces and whatnot, and then um, I... This right here especially. Yeah, we found uh, <clears throat> some dirty spots when we uh, lifted that off to take out uh, some old hose that we wanted to get rid of. But, um, and then I put some reflective tape on the dinghy. And then when I got back, the rest of the day was spent uh, flushing out the water tanks and our drinking water system, all the hoses that, you know, not just drinking water, but bathing and uh, washing and everything like that. And while the water pump was running, just flushing stuff through, we also put a new mast boot on the mast because our other one was like seven and a half years and falling apart. So. Yeah, that uh, that went well. We'll uh, just start straightening up the boat and getting it together because we've got uh, two more days of work and then on the third day after that, we go into the water. Oh yeah, one of the other things I got at the Chandlery was a new bow roller. Our old roller just had a little notch in it and the chain was always running up the sides and like rubbing on the metal on the edge there. So we got one with like a deeper V or U shape. Hopefully, that'll be uh, better for the chain, make anchoring and unanchoring easier. <laughs> Looking good. Can't wait to be out there. Just a few more days. We're done uh, messing around with the tanks. Got our first uh, pitcher of drinking water out of them. Water cooling in the fridge. Fridge is good and cold. Lindy's been cleaning and straightening. Things are looking pretty good. Really good compared to how they were. We actually sat around on the settees a little bit and took a break midday. Yeah, not too much uh, more to do. Kind of got the deck straightened up. But yeah, we've got uh, Tomorrow, we'll be uh, moving more of our things from the apartment to the boat and a second coat of bottom paint. And then uh, on the next day, which is Tuesday, they'll actually lift the boat up and uh, drop the centerboard for painting the centerboard. Then Wednesday morning, we'll be in the water and that will be good. That will be a fun, nice day to go get anchored and hanging out, quit with all this cleaning. <laughs> straightening. What do you think, Lindy? Yes. <laughs> it will definitely be better once we get in the water and relax a little bit. Yeah, because uh, then the schedule just sort of turns off. We don't need to be anywhere at any time. We'll just uh, start hanging out. <laughs> Still quite the mess in here. <laughs> but it's really the best we can do until uh, we get out at anchor and can start, you know, moving stuff around and get the boat totally set up for living. So, yeah, that's it. I'm about to climb off the boat and they're planning to uh, lift it up within the hour to drop the centerboard and then paint it. And we won't get back on the boat until tomorrow morning, I guess at eight o'clock, because the boat will sit in the slings for the uh, centerboard to dry all night. And then we'll head off to a uh, mooring ball because we're still waiting on our anchor chain to come in. It's been, you know, just at one week of getting it ready. So we've not been that uh, difficult a time. <laughs> Thank you.
right, it's the next morning. Time to splash the boat. Everything looks ready. Paint looks dry. Yeah. Nothing left to do but go in the water. We're gonna go around to the dock. We've got some uh, rigging work to uh, do. There's a couple of uh, cracked fittings that uh, the rigging company found yesterday. So yeah, get that uh, taken care of. The dock is just right over there where you see the masts. All right, get ready to go in the water. <laughs> Lindy's on board, you ready Lindy? Yeah. All right. I've already got the lazarette open, so right when we go in the water, I can check that shaft seal. I see the guys gathering around. There they are. So we should go in soon. There's Jose. <laughs> It feels like we're starting to go into the water a little bit. Are we in the water a little, Lindy? Yeah, we're in the water. Okay. Well, everything looks good. Let's just check here. We should be able to make water come in. Yeah. There we go. Shaft seal's perfect. Okay. We're good. Okay, we've checked all the through holes. Got the engine started. They're about to let us go. Then we'll go over to the slip. <laughs> All right, made it over to the dock. Holiday is floating and the guys are working on the rigging already. All the rigging work is finished. Got some nice new blocks on the main sheet and the boom bang. They installed new blocks for the flag halyards up there on the spreaders. And of course we got the two new aft lowers. We're ready to go. Uh, it's been a very rainy morning and there's more rain coming. I see a squall coming across the bay right now. So as soon as all this rain clears out, uh, we'll take off. We did finally get a mast boot on that is working. It was pretty finicky to get that thing on there. I hope that mast boot lasts a long time because it was not a very uh, fun experience putting on there. It wasn't hard but it was just gotta fix it and then trim it and then fix it and then trim it and then glue it and hope you're doing it right because once you glue it that's it. <laughs> yeah it was not uh, real easy but yeah I hope that it lasts uh, forever. As long as, as long as the other one did. <laughs> That'd be the, nice. the original I, yeah, yeah seven years. So. Yeah. Cool. How'd you enjoy your first night of sleep on the boat? Not too bad. When the wind and the waves come, like you can really <laughs> feel the boat jerking against the dock. And so that like woke me up a few times, but not too bad. I'll be glad to get on a nice comfy mooring ball. Yeah, me too. Of course, the sails are still in our living room. Once we get over to the mooring ball, if it's not raining, we'll go ahead and put them up. But the old beaver, I slept good last night. It was awesome dinghies up on deck so it's kind of dark in here but yeah oh. we're living on the boat now which is awesome
Hopefully in the next couple of squalls go by, we'll take off. Just go around for Mount Hartman Bay and get on a morning ball. Took the shopping bus tomorrow. Uh, what do you call this, Lindy? Uh, Eisenglass. To make, to make the, to, <laughs> to make the baffle on the uh, shaft seal be the right uh, amount of pressure. <laughs>